What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fallout 4 Mods for the PS4. Today we're going to be taking a look at three mods and the first mod is called Portable Nuka Jetpack for the PS4 and it's by Lang now. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know if I am. Probably not. But either way, it adds in a jetpack for the PS4. Um, uh, there is a mod for the PC and for Xbox One, which actually is a legit jetpack that you can just fly around with, um, but you can't use it, you can't have that mod on the PlayStation 4 because it uses custom shit and uh, that doesn't work on PlayStation. You can't really do anything custom on here. So uh, the mod author realized that, you know, Nuka World has a jetpack outfit that you can you know acquire in the game so he decided all right let me just add a jetpack effect to it and let you fly around and that's what he did so you need to have the nuka world dlc in order to be able to use this mod unfortunately for you uh those of you who don't have it you can't use this mod um but the other mods i'm pretty sure yeah definitely the other two mods you don't need any of the dlc for so uh don't worry about that uh stay tuned for the rest of the video this is the first mod uh that you actually do uh require nuka world for so just keep that in mind and uh yeah let's go ahead and take a look at this jetpack so all you have to do is come over here to the super duper mart which is located in lexington go inside it's on one of the shelves and uh you can go ahead and put it on so i'm gonna put this on and let's go ahead and test this out all right so i've got the outfit on and uh your armor actually if you have some like uh extra armor pieces on they actually stay on which is pretty cool but uh all right so we got this outfit on i guess it would look better if you are a female uh but regardless this dude's rocking it pretty well either way so uh all you have to do is jump once and then jump a second time and you go up into the air uh, and it doesn't use up action points which is really nice uh, there is a rocket effect down there which looks like I am a legit rocket ship <laughs> and your uh, character model just looks pretty basic but either way it looks really nice I do like it it's pretty cool um, and let's go ahead and drop down because I'm pretty sure we do not take any fall damage and yep that's right no fall damage at all um, and yeah it's really nice you could actually you know explore a lot of the different places and like I said it doesn't take up action points so you could do this forever you can keep going up um i'm pretty sure though if you do go up too high you will hit like a sky block uh sky block sky block sky box limit shit <laughs> and uh you'll just get teleported back to the ground which um yeah and it's pretty high up i mean there's a uh you know a glitch you could do in the game to actually go like high up and i've tried it before you could actually go really high so you don't have to worry about going way too high uh but either way guys Enough rambling for me, let's go ahead and take a look at the next mod, which is a player home. I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, so the next mod is a player home called Outfield Retreat, and it's by the real Eleonora, and I just want to point out right away, before I even start off doing the mod review, I actually had a different player home that I was going to review, and it was out like near the water, but it was still within the barrier of the map, but for some reason, any time I went near it, um, it wouldn't let me go like actually inside of the uh, player home it said I cannot go that way for some reason I don't know if it was a cl conflicting mod that I had installed or whatever but it, it was bugged so I just uninstalled it and I found this one and uh, this mod author I've I'm pretty sure it's a female and I've seen a lot of her player homes uh, being reviewed on Xbox one and PC and she makes some really good really nice looking player homes so definitely first before even look before you guys even see this just just fucking download it it's awesome so we're gonna jump straight into it um as you can see behind me it's not a huge one it's not a big player home but there is a lot to it uh location for it is in diamond city uh it has its own map marker once you walk over to it uh, it's at this back part over here but uh Damn, alright, let's just jump straight into it. So, over here, as you can see, uh, she made it so that you don't have to, um, every, every item in here, it, even inside of the house, is, um, uh, static. So, if you walk over to it, you're not gonna bump into it and it's gonna go flying everywhere. Uh, that's usually a problem with items in Fallout. If you pick up an item, say I pick up this cup, this fucking Nuka-Cola bottle would usually, like, fly off the table or something. It's very weird, so, uh, she made it so that it's all static and it looks very nice. And, uh, so let's go ahead and take a look over here. So, there's a power armor station, typical, uh, crafting area. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the interior. Because it's really nice, and if you're claustrophobic, don't download this mod. Uh, it's very cramped and tiny. But uh, So it is very small, and there is a lot to it. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this part of the room first. So over here, we have a weapon storage area. You can go ahead and store your weapons inside of there. Uh, there's a comics magazine area for you to put your comics and magazines there. Miscellaneous unique item storage. Um, a bookcase over here. A uh, bobblehead stand right there. There's a bobblehead right there as well. You can't pick it up though. Uh, over here, there is a bookshelf, a radio. You can turn it on. I'm not going to activate it right there. 
right now because I don't want to get copyright striked. Uh, over here, we have a quest item spot uh, and then an explosive uh, area for you to put your explosives. Over here, we have a unique letters and maps. Put them there if you want to. There's a terminal right there, unique and armor clothing. Uh, over here, we have an armor workbench. And then over here, we have a weapons workbench. I love the way that everything is just displayed. It's it's so nice, the way everything is placed. It's fucking awesome, dude. Uh, food shelf right there for you to place all of your food. And then right here, it says, don't steal me. A sweet roll. I'm stealing it. Uh, right there is a cooking stove, a refrigerator, chem lab. And then over here, we have first aid. And um, I think that's it. Uh, there's just a lot of hidden hidden things magazine rack i don't know if i pointed that out and yeah i think that's pretty much it dressers down there um yeah it's just so awesome i don't know i like the way everything is placed it's so cool uh let's go ahead and take a look at this terminal though because i didn't look at it yet so let's look at this um nothing on it i don't know if there's anything supposed to be on there maybe you could just uh load your holotapes onto it but uh yeah that's pretty much it there's a bed right there you could go ahead and sleep and it's a small simple and really nice player home in my opinion i really like it and uh i definitely would recommend it um yeah you don't really need custom things to make it really look nice uh, Good job. Good job. I, I really like this player home, and I would definitely recommend it to all of you guys who have this. Uh, even on Xbox One and PC, definitely get this because, hey, it looks really nice. And <laughs> shit, man. I, I didn't think I would see something like this. This is definitely a really good player home, and I hope to see more from her and many other mod authors that take inspiration from this in the future. I really, really would recommend. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next mod. It's going to be a big one, so I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so the next mod is called PS4 Unlocked Settlement Objects, and it's by Andre WCX. We've seen a mod by him before. He made this green grass grow for us. But, guys, this mod is fucking huge. This adds in every settlement, every object in the game that you could normally not craft with, and it'll let you craft with it. So, pretty much... As you can see, we're here at the Starlight Drive-In, and I've placed down not all, but pretty much every single item that this mod has to offer. Uh, it lets you add in these trees and a bunch of other objects that I'm going to run you through. Uh, so to start off, we have all of these hedges. I pretty much created a forest over here, uh, in this beginning area at least. I try and make it uh, look pretty nice. Uh, it really goes well with this green grass. But as you can see, as we walk in, there is just a lot. There are just so many items. So we're going to start over... Um, We'll start over on the left here. So over here, uh, it adds in all these redone cars. Uh, as you can see, these are from like the beginning of the game uh, in that beginning sequence um, before the bombs fall. So there, those are there. Uh, a vertebra that you can place, some tanks. Uh, there are a lot of different variants. I didn't want to place all of them down. There's an actual tank over there. Uh, and as you can see back there, there's like a motorcycle and whatnot. Over here, we have some shopping carts or a shopping cart you could place down. And all of these items, I'll just skim passed by that's like a uh, a camera uh in the description it says it's a, like a movie camera uh and then you could place these beached whales i didn't know that's what they were like beached whales i thought they were like dolphins but the name of them says beached whale um you could place down and scrap skeletons with this mod which is really cool uh this one usually when you place down the skeletons they just go like limp and they just like ragdoll uh but only this model right here is in a fixed position so that's pretty cool. Right there is a, uh, a fucking nuke. Uh, and then just some random statues. You could place all these items down. All of these items are from this mod. I don't have any other items down that aren't from the mod. Uh, and then there's some clean, um, like, fucking blankets and shit right there. <laughs> statues. A lot of statues. Moving flags also. Waving them in. It's starting to get dark out in the game. Sorry about that. Um... So there's a fucking, the water tower right there you could place down. Uh, over here there's some, like, wall items you could place down. So you got some schematics for Vault 81, and then that. Uh, and then over here we have just some more statues. Uh, a plane right there, one of those, um, you usually see them crashed. So you could place that down. Um, you could place down all of the variants as well of the rusted and broken cars, if you're into that 
Uh, and then over here we have like the tent, some showers. Uh, this is from like the cryo uh, vault 111 area. You can place all of these down. Um, an eye washing station, another shower. Uh, these hanging bodies I added there, those are um, in the raider section of the thing. Uh, just a bunch of different items over here. Uh, these are floating, but these are like floor mats you could place down. Um, so I thought that was really cool. Um, and I'm pretty sure this does not require to, you to have any of the DLC. This is pretty much from all of, of the base game. A lot of these over here, uh, these are like all different crafting materials um, and buildable, you know, things. So you can place down these walls, these floors. And there are different, uh, you know, variations of these. But I didn't want to place all of them down because that would just take up a lot of space. But there are different variations of this. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to go through. These are some seats, some new beds as well. Um, those things back there you could also place down those are new this thing looks really cool this is a shower awesome looking I think that's from the Institute um, and then a bunch of different fridges uh, a table a school desk right there a safe um, a Brahmin corpse um, and that's in the container section so you can store some items in that uh, and then some more uh, containers a vault 81 steamer trunk some more containers over here uh, this is from the um, the when the um, the synths are being created. That's what one of the things that they're created on top of. Uh, right here is the TV from the beginning of the game with the like actual thing moving. So that's really cool. If you want to place that down in the house, it looks really nice. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And I wanted to show you guys something that makes this mod a little more intense. You are able to place down, oh, and also there's an alien spaceship right there, there's a UFO, but you are able to place down some of the biggest objects in the game. So you have a band stand right there, the Bunker Hill Monument, that giant ass thing, a cabin, you could place down a bunch of different cabins, you could place down this combat cage from the combat zone, as you can see on there, the words combat zone. You could place down buildings. Look at this shit. This is fun. I would never be able to fit this in here. This is crazy, guys. I mean, this is huge. I would definitely recommend experimenting with this mod. Um, you place down lighthouses. This thing, this is huge. This power sphere, I can't even see it. It makes the game lag. Oh my god, just look at how big this is. You could place down a radio tower, an entire red rocket gas station. You could place down this uh, switching tower, and then finally the water tower again. It is crazy, guys. And I do, I wanted to ask you guys in the comments, I don't know if any of you guys uh, do really care about this, but I, I've seen um, this done before, and I've wanted to do this for a while, but only if you guys want me to do it, uh, or are interested in seeing it. I've wanted to do settlement builds, and with this mod, and a bunch of different mods, uh, uh, combined together I think it could really work out a lot better than just doing it in the base game which I tried doing before but I didn't upload the video because it wasn't that cool it was just base game items but I feel like now with the uh, addition of these these different crafting materials and everything like that I feel like doing settlement builds would actually be really cool and if you guys are interested in that please let me know in the comments I'd definitely be looking forward to that if you guys don't want to see it it's completely fine I don't care uh, I'll continue reviewing some mods it, it, it's not a big deal but if you guys are interested in seeing that definitely let me know um, but yeah that's pretty much it yeah uh, I don't know guys that's pretty much gonna be it a um, lot of interesting things in this there are a ton of different crafting materials like all, all of these mods I've featured I would definitely recommend these mods enhance your game to the next level uh, for Fallout 4 mods on the PS4 at least uh, it definitely definitely makes a big difference um, and yeah like I said if you guys do want to see me do some uh, different builds on um, different settlements just let me know uh, but other than that I'm gonna get out of here guys and uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching um, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.